Guys, before we get started with today's survival episode, um, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Now I'm going to start off with the bad news first. So, here's what happened. So... Last episode, we went on and run through the jungle in hopes to find some ocelots, and well, that didn't go out too well, did it? I made a really stupid mistake there, because after the episode was finished, I tried to make my way back home, got cornered by two zombies, and I think you can guess what happened from there. Uh, so everything that was in my inventory at the time is gone. Now here's where the good news comes into play. I respawned back at the house and slept through what was left of the night and then went back outside and out in the jungle there were actually a few ocelots there which was my entire goal as of last episode but this is going to be hopefully easier if these ocelots have not despawned now as soon as I saw those ocelots I quickly saved and quit the survival world and have not loaded that world since in hope that those ocelots are still there, and as you can tell, I've got quite a few, um, worlds here, so here's hoping they're still there. Now, here's the problem. I no longer have a fishing rod, and I no longer have fish. So, even if they are there, I only have a short, uh, window in order to try to get them. And I'm still trying to get the achievement of taming them. And, yeah, I know, no Minecraft's working just fine. What are you talking about? Okay. Um... Alright, I'm facing in this direction, and yes, they're still there. They are still there. Now, how long they're going to be there is a good question. And there's the village right there. Good. But there's also some skeletons in the water, which could make it problematic. So, here's hoping... I at least have something decent inside my house. I need to eventually just chop some trees and actually build a legitimate house because I still feel like I'm stealing this house from the villagers. Alright, and I forgot how cluttered this place was. Okay, nothing in this chest. And... Okay, we have wood. We have string. I don't think I'm going to be able to... Actually, I'm going to put that back. No, um... I was about to make a bow, but I don't have any arrows. So, making a bow would not do me anything. And let me go ahead and do this. And so we put one... Two, three, if my memory serves me correctly, which there's a chance it doesn't. And there we go, we got ourselves a fishing rod, and I need to make some form of tools. Am I, st yeah, I was standing on top of that, so I couldn't get, okay. Okay, so I have a stone sword, and I am completely out of iron because I had all of my iron on me when I was over there. I don't know how I'm going to deal with those skeletons. I don't think I'm going to be able to... I no longer see the ocelots, which could be a problem. But you guys, I'm fairly certain, saw them. If you guys didn't, um, go back to that part of the video and kind of pause it right where I spawned in. You should at least see something. Really? I have everything I could possibly get. I get a... I didn't even get it. Oh, it's right there. I have everything I could possibly get, I get a lily pad. Well, this is a bit of a bummer. Not because of the lily pad, but because there's a good chance those ocelots are no longer there. I'm sorry I haven't done this in as long as I have, guys. First off, my editor broke, so I had to fix that. And so now I have a new editor... And then last week, I forgave this and did, um, okay, we got fish, we, and I did Mineplex because they did a 
new May game. So it's been like three, four weeks or something since I last did this. I don't know. Man, it's been so long and I've been wanting to get back and do this. I really should not have done the whole Mindplex bit last week, but I went and did that anyway. Okay, what are we getting here? Leather. I mean, leather's nice. Okay. I'm taking a risk. Are these ocelots still there? I was... Hold on. I was sworn I just... There's something out there. Nope, that, nope, it's nothing. But, oh, there we've got a cave here. Nice. Okay, I'm hearing zombies from down there. You know what? At this point, if there are any ocelots, they're gone. Okay, so I'm out that achievement. At least for a while. And wait a minute. Some bones and an arrow. Wait, how many arrows is this actually? One, okay. You know what? Granted, I had an opportunity. I think I lost my opportunity at this point. And I made a stupid move last episode anyway. I should have had like some cobblestone or something. To actually use to find my way back home, but I didn't. But that's fine. So I've got one arrow. I still have my sticks on me. Let me go ahead and make a bow. Granted, I don't have a lot. Granted, I only have one arrow. I don't care. I'm making a bow now. And the string's right here. I was going for the arrow. Okay. All right. And let me go ahead and, uh, let me sleep. How on earth did I get so unlucky to get the lily pad? That is, okay. Okay, now I need to start using my other, I need to start using, crap, what was I saying? I need to, oh crap, I have lost what I was even saying in the first place. Okay, I need to make torches, because that cave I was not aware of. And I want to go down there, see what I can find. I mean, I saw a call. It's possible, I'm going to have to check, you know, I haven't been checking previous episodes in any of my series anyway. Um, I'm going to have to start using this just, that's what I was saying earlier. Okay, I don't know whether or not... I've actually been down in that particular cave before. Hold on. Let me clear out my inventory. I don't know why I didn't do this already. So let's put the coal away. Let's put the fishing rod away. Fish away, leather, bones. There. My hopper may be a bit of a mess, I'm not going to lie. But at least it's a clean inventory. So I don't know what I'm going to see down in that cave that I saw. I don't know what I'm going to see down here, but... Okay, there's a really good chance that what I'm going to find down here is stuff... Whoa, hello! Okay, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Not worth it. Wait a minute. Are they fighting each other? They're fighting each other. One one's on fire. I am not going down there for any reason. Not with those... Not with those skeletons down there. That could have been bad. Okay, new plan for this episode. Um... What can I do? I've got an idea. Remember that spider spawner we found, that first episode, is it down here? No, but there is iron in here, and I'm, I'm out of iron. But how far down do I want to go? That's the question. How far down does this go? That's the real question here. How far down does it... I think this is it. Maybe not. Okay, I need a block because I feel like... I won't be able to get back up. And I won't be able to get back up anyway. Okay, so let me put... 
Let me go ahead and I'm going to break this block. Okay, so we have iron down here. Oh, this is the end of the cave. But the fact that we found iron is good because we lost all of our iron in the last episode. Well, technically in between episodes. So I have no idea how much iron is even down here to begin with. But the fact that there is iron in the first place is good. The question is how much? I mean, we've got plenty of coal, that's fine. So let's see, how much iron are we going to have by the time we're done here? We've got three so far, and I don't think... Yeah, I have not picked any of this up. Okay, we've got three here. I'm not going to worry about the coal right now. We've got... Four, five, six, and then this one right here. Oh, we've got more under here. Good. I was beginning to wonder. But how? Whoa! Okay, there's a lot more down here than I thought. Okay, let me light this place up. So... Okay, there's a lot more coal down, not coal, iron, iron, than down here that I thought there was going to be. But iron's always good to have. It doesn't matter if you're playing survival in uh, vanilla or modded. Iron's always good to have, although I don't want the granite. I mean, I use granite in some things, but in the survival sense, it's really not all that useful. I mean, there's probably some people who use it. I'm just not one of them. It just takes up room in my inventory. That's all it does. Now, I'm not... I'm sure... There it is. There's the coal. Now, how much iron do we get? I forgot to check. How much iron do we have? 13. Okay, we can make a new chest plate. Because we, when we used our last set of iron, we had a chest plate. And I died with that chest plate on. So, we can make a new one of those. Which is good. Wow, there's a lot of coal. I'm, I'm kind of at a loss at what to commentate on here, guys. Oh, more iron. Okay, any amount of iron is... Oh, two iron. Three iron. Okay, we, hit, we apparently hit the mother load here. If that's even the right term to be using, it might not be. All right, and, okay, so now we need to go back up to the surface so we can actually get a new pickaxe. I should have had another pickaxe with me, but I didn't. I was more concerned about going into that cave that I f found. Speaking of cave, where's that cave that I found that had the spider spawner in it? Now, all things considered, I probably should have saved that spider spawner for a for a, a, a I was about to say obsidian farm, but that's not the right word for it. I was gonna um XP farm. That's what it was. I don't know why. I I have been having trouble thinking lately. I'm not quite sure why. And let's take this out. One, two. We only need enough sticks to make. A pickaxe and although we probably could make an iron pickaxe with what we have left I'm leaving the iron in my, in my inventory right now for one reason and one reason alone to see exactly how much iron we actually get from our little trip here and did any coal fall down to the bottom no okay I don't know why I was worried about the coal Probably because well, I kind of need it. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish mining down here. I'm probably going to check back on my previous episode. Because I don't remember how much stuff I actually had in my inventory when I died. And at least watching that back will at least help me in that sense. And we're having a lot more iron here than I thought there was. I need to start editing my videos a lot more than I have been. Because recently I've been just doing it where I do it all in one go. 
aside my intros, you guys know I always save at least one clip for an intro. But I need to edit my videos a lot more than I have been, and I don't think this episode's gonna be that episode that I start doing that. But I still need to start anyway. 22 iron. Nice. But how much is this going to make? Actually, it's gonna make uh, 22 iron. I don't know why I'm thinking that. I guess what I meant to say was how much coal am I gonna need in order to do this? I guess while I'm waiting, and I don't have enough wooden planks to do it, okay, I guess what I could do is I could make myself a, oh wait, I, why am I going to be using planks to do this? I should be using cobblestone. I'm going to make myself an axe, and I'm going to chop down some of these trees, wait. How much day is there left? Okay, the sun is in fact going down. But, I want to cut down some of these trees and actually make a legitimate house. I mean, granted I'm living in a house that was already built. I still feel like I'm stealing from the villagers by sleeping in their village. Plus, if I have my own house, then... I have a lot more room because what I'm living in right now is absolutely tiny. I'm not going to lie. It's absolutely tiny. And how many trees are there here right at the moment? A lot. I'm going to try to get as many of these saplings as I can because I'm always going to end up needing wood. It doesn't matter what series you're playing. You're always going to need more wood. Okay, at least one sapling for right now. Good. And I need to go back home here relatively soon because the sun's going down and I'm de I'm trying to determine whether I want to leave the tree this particular tree where it is oh uh, wait where are the logs where are the logs in my inventory there they are okay and why do I have a piece of granite probably from trying to get the iron and coal okay um, yeah, I'm just going to go to bed here for right now. I was going to see where the spider spawner used to be earlier. I'm not quite sure where that is now. Is it time to? No. But, okay, we're still going. Alright, so I should be able to make a chest plate. There we go, we have ourselves an iron chest plate, and I'm also going to make, I don't have any more sticks though, that's fine, I can make more sticks. I'm going to make myself a sword, and I also want to make a pickaxe, because granted I still have what's left of my, um, granted I still have what's left of my stone pickaxe. Iron pickaxe is at least better to have, and by the time I'm done with this, I don't think I'm go. I did not actually make the pickaxe. I need to start remembering to actually pull stuff out of my uh, crafting window because I haven't been doing that. Put this down. Thank you. And let's put on our chest plate. Can we sleep now? Can we sleep now? Yes. Good. We get a nice view of a villager. There we go. Isn't that lovely? Okay. Oh, you went in here. I wouldn't doubt it. Okay. Let's finish with these trees. I suppose I could have actually... Whoa, we've got an apple. Okay, good. Although, there's a skeleton right there, and I'm a little bit cautious. Because granted, I have an iron chest plate that's not necessarily the best to possibly have. I do want to finish this tree, though. Let me go ahead. You know what? I don't need this piece of granite. I don't know how many people actually like having the those three stone types. I know there's some people out there that do, but I don't like them in a survival setting. I'm going to be completely honest. In a survival setting, I don't use them. All right, there we go. Let's actually climb up one more. Can we? Yeah. All right. 
and let's go ahead. What's going on with my controller? I have absolutely no idea what's going on with my controller here. All right. And I'm wondering how long it's going to take. Whoa! Okay. That was a bit of unexpected. All right. Did I just say bit of unexpected? I'm a weird person. I probably did. All right. All right. So here we are back up here. Let's go ahead and put a block here. No, we can't do that. Okay. That's fine. We can do this. All right. Let's go ahead and finish this tree down. All right. There's a lot more wood here than I thought there was going to be. That's what she said. I don't know if you knew. I don't even know if I used that term correctly. I'm going to be completely honest. Okay, let's get up here. This is so tedious. This is why I don't particularly like trees that grow this big, because it's always so tedious to chop down the whole thing. And I can't get up there. Okay, there we go. Although I should probably save some of these leaves because if I ever do work with redstone and pistons and slime blocks and stuff here's the thing I've actually covered this before in a redstone video I think it was redstone 101 leaves are actually a good alternative to obsidian when it comes to uh, slime blocks because you can actually use leaves next to uh, slime blocks and they won't get pulled. So I should probably start saving a few of these leaves. You know what? I'm going to go back home. I've got one piece of iron on me and I've got several pieces of iron still cooking. If, if it's even still cooking, it might be done. I'm going to make some shears. No, I can't sleep right now. Okay, we've got ourselves our iron. Let's go ahead and make ourselves some shears and I'm gonna grab some of these leaves now obviously I'm not gonna have any use for these uh, leaves immediately I'm going to admit to that I'm not gonna have any use for them immediately but if I at least have them and I didn't finish this tree okay if I at least have them that's gonna be good because then I at least don't have to worry about that later you just grab a whole bunch. I'm going to do some work um, in between episodes with cutting down trees for wood because that's going to take a while. And I don't want to bore you guys with that because I feel like that's something I can do off camera. How much wood do we have? Almost a, well, almost three quarters of a sack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. What more than make sure to hit the subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at AgentCPU0 to stay updated. This has been Zero Studios. Thank you guys for watching. And with that, I will see you guys later.